Hi class! In this video, we'll talk about fieldwork number 3, which is taping on sloping ground. The equipment that we need are two range poles, a 50 meter tape, chalk or marking pins. We use chalk for hard pavement, we use marking pins for soft ground, and then two plumb bobs. If you've noticed, they are the same with your fieldwork number 2 because they're both just taping or measuring distance between two points. The first step here is to identify points A and B, and then have two people holding range poles at those points. So we have A and B. This helps ensure that the measurements are along a straight path. Next, we place a rear tape man directly at A, align the zero mark of the tape above A using a plumb bob. And then the front tape man holds the other side of the tape and pulls it taut. So it's the opposite from your previous fieldwork. In fieldwork 2, the front tape man holds the zero mark. Here, the rear tape man holds the zero mark. So while holding the tape, they will use a plumb bob to make sure that they are positioning and aligning their tapes properly. For the rear tape man, they must ensure that the zero mark is directly above point A. And then for the front tape man, they must ensure the point below the plumb bob to be marked later on. So before we proceed, we must make sure that the tape is horizontal or else that will cause error in the calculation. So the next step is the front tape man will drive a marking pin below the plumb bob. As mentioned earlier, the front tape man must take note of this point because they will drive a marking pin at that point. Afterwards, the rear tape man will leave point A and move to the pin placed by the front tape man. After aligning themselves to the range poles, the rear tape man now may take the marking pin. Afterwards, we're just going to repeat steps 2 to 6 until you reach point B. And then upon reaching point B, measure the partial tape length up to centimeters. So you're now going to place the zero mark at range pole B and then take your measurement. So for example here, if we look closer, we have these measurements. You'll see these numbers on your 50 meter tape. These are in centimeters. We have up to 120 centimeters at this point. However, your marking pin is a little to the left of that. And as you can see, we have smaller measurements here, which are all equal to 1 cm. So reading this, you'll get 121 centimeters. And then the last step is to count the number of tape lengths that you have as well as your partial distance. And then compute the horizontal distance between A and B. And then repeat the entire procedure for how many trials is required. So if your tape length is less than 10, you can just count it manually. If it's more than 10, then you may use the pebble method. So to compute for our data sheet, the solution is almost the same as your fieldwork number 2. So first, identify what is your tape length. For our example, our tape length is 10 meters. Next, write out your data for trial 1. So for example here, the number of full tape lengths that we have is 4. And then the partial tape length, as shown earlier, is 121 centimeters. Convert that to meter, you have 1.21 meter. So to get the total length between your two points, we're going to multiply the number of tape length, which is 4, by the measure of that tape length, which is 10, and then add to it your partial tape length, which is 1.21 meters. Solving for that, you'll get 41.21 meters. And then do the same thing for trial 2, you'll get... 41.15 meters and then the mean distance is just the average of those two data and then you'll get 41.18 so now that we've computed for this data fill out your preliminary data sheet this is your sample preliminary data sheet so you're just going to fill out this table as shown here okay. for our example we have trial one for line a b that's up the slope so full tape length is 4, partial is 1.21, and then computing for total distance is 41.21. And then for trial 2, it's VA, so it's down the slope. Once again, number of full tape length is 4, partial now is 1.15, total distance is 41.15. And then mean distance is just the average of the two. And then include the measurement of your tape length. Again, for example, it's 10 meters. 
So for the class, I will upload sample data to be used in your computation for fieldwork number 3. Use that data to complete this table, include your sample computation and then the sketch, and then submit that as your preliminary data sheet to me. So that's it for fieldwork number 3. In the next video, we'll talk about fieldwork number 4.